The city of Rapid City is getting $2 million from the U.S. Department of Justice to help reduce crime. Kelloland Sydney Thorson explains how the funds will be put to use. Violent crime in Rapid City hit an all-time high in the last few months. With help from this grant and community outreach programs, the city and police department hope to build partnerships to fight this crime. We can't arrest our way out of this problem. Essentially, we don't want to incarcerate our people. You know, so if we get proactive and we start de-escalating situations, trying to enter, you know, intervene in some of the disagreements, try to just be there, you know. Whatever it is that's happening is getting worse. And uh, there's no end in sight to it. So violence interruption gives us a different philosophy and a different way to try to head it off before it gets to be a problem. The $2 million is a part of a $100 million in grants awarded nationwide through the Safer Communities Act through the Office of Justice Programs. This is a way for us to put some staff together to uh, form a team to enhance our abilities to uh, get to the bottom of some of these issues and, and get them worked out. Wombly Ska is an organization that aims to keep Native American children off the streets. It offers several programs and provides meals almost every night of the week. We're up here just trying to, you know, make a better place for, for our people, you know, trying to be that, uh, you know, those, those warriors, you know, saying, hey, enough's enough. The city believes it can help prevent future crime through collaboration with these community organizations. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. Mayor Steve Allender says Journey On and the Red Ribbon Skirt Society have been helpful to the Rapid City community and its police department.